Okay guys, welcome back to the channel here. So I got something in the mail today that I ordered this fall and I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I just never really found the right one that I thought would work best for me. Um, until this fall, I did a lot of research on this and I found this company out in Colorado that makes these. It's a rooftop rod case and well, it, here it is. It just got delivered a little while ago. It's uh, ice fishing season now, but we are going to take this apart, mount it on the truck, and uh, just going to do somewhat of an unboxing for you guys so you can check it out if you want to grab one of these for next spring or something. So this case is made by the company called Ultimate Rod Case. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. I'll leave their website down in the description below. But the reason that I wanted this case over all the other ones is because I wanted to be able to put spinning rods and fly rods and even trolling rods in my rooftop rod carrier. A lot of the cases that you find are just for fly rods and uh, this company actually makes a hybrid case they call it. So uh, the back piece is a little bit longer so you can fit you know split grip spinning rods and bait casters and stuff in there so I'm just gonna stop talking here we'll talk more once we get into it but I'm going to take this crate apart here and take this thing out so you guys can see what it looks like. One tip, you probably don't want to be doing this in your L.L. Bean slippers, but I do pretty much everything in my L.L. Bean slippers. Oh yeah, that's easier. Okay. And the keys are right here. Two sets. Sick. Look at this thing. Give you a side profile of it, kind of. We got the 11 foot case. Yeah, I just measured it. Measures out to 11 foot 2 inches. So you got a little bit of wiggle room there. You can see it's got a nice hard finish on there. It's like a bed liner uh, material. A little bit of texture to it. But it's made out of solid aluminum. And they make them by hand right there in their shop out in Colorado. So pretty cool. And uh, I don't think there's a lot of these really up here in the northeast yet so this is why i wanted to get this case over some of the others the construction of it is super durable you could probably walk on this thing you know it's all one piece all the way to the tip and they just put like a cap on the end this one here flip this guy up it looks like we got some mounting hardware here some u-bolts and I'm not sure if we're going to use this or not. I have a rack that has a, um, a, a special track system to it. This would even work with my rack. Since I have that special track system, I'm probably going to see if I can use that. There's no pre-drilled holes, which is good. Makes it a cleaner look here. But they put this tab on here. It's just, it's not actually part of the case. It just has a little wing that sticks out. So what we're going to do is, I'm probably going to have someone help me, but... I'm gonna set this on top of my truck, see about where the cross braces land on here, and I'm gonna drill one hole down through to, uh, to hook onto that rail system that I have.
I was worried that it might look a little bit ridiculous because of how far it might stick out to the front and the back. But this is the 11 foot case and it really doesn't stick out all that much. I'm actually planning with this truck or the next truck that I get to have a cap on the back and sliding this whole thing back and it'll be more seamless and you probably won't even really be able to tell that it's up there. So this is a Prince U rack and the reason I wanted this because of how low profile it is and also because of this track system that it has here. So it comes with, it's basically a carriage bolt that will slide into these openings here and slide into the track and then you just tighten it down. So I just bought a little bit longer carriage bolts and put some rubber washers underneath my um, case, drilled the holes accordingly, all stainless hardware, and then just tightened it down. I don't need to use U-bolts or anything like that, although they would have worked fine here. Let's go get a rod and I'll kind of show you how this works. This is my 8 foot 9 Sage screener rod. Got my 7 foot JTP and handler spinning rod. Then we got my 11 foot Euro nymphing rod. This is the test here. See, this one, this one's gonna fit. Lined up here. Oh yeah, perfect. So what you have to do is if you have a spinning rod um, or bait caster probably, um, you'll have to pull out one of these white tubes and it just makes a bigger opening there because on your spinning rod you have your first guide is quite uh, long and it won't fit in that tube. and. And uh, these smaller tubes just help support the fly rods a lot better. Um, they extend out further. But if you're going to use a spinning rod or bait caster. And he, they also gave me these and I didn't know what they were at first. But um, they're just tubing and you can wrap it around your rod and fit it into that tube to give it even more of a nice, secure, tight fit. But I don't think I'm going to need those. And actually the owner of the company told me that He's never even used those and they leave their rods in there all the time. And he's never had an issue. So, um, close that up. We just lock it. Flip these down to keep the weather out. And she's ready to go. So I didn't talk about this at the beginning of the video, but one of the main reasons I really wanted this was just to be able to have all my rods put together at all times. Uh, with this, you pull up to the spot, pull your rod out, and you're fishing. You don't have to sit there and put your four piece together, string your line through, tie up leaders. You can have everything ready to go the morning before if you're going on a big trip or if you and your buddies want to go. Stuff your rods in there all rigged and ready to go. Get to the spot in the morning. You're not wasting any time. You pull those babies out. Start catching fish. I really do believe that this is the best rod case on the market today. It's super durable. It looks pretty badass. And actually, if you get the, uh, I think it's the 10 footer and down, you can get it in a black diamond plate. And they can actually do like custom colors for you too. They can do like airbrushing and different stuff done to it. So it's totally customizable. And uh, you're gonna be seeing this a lot on the channel. I'm actually gonna probably take it off today just because I'm not gonna use it in the winter. I'll toss it back on the spring, ride, run it all summer long through the fall, and take it off again in the winter. Just so we don't get salt and crap all through it and everything, but but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave Ultimate Rod Case website down in the description below so you can check them out. Haven't already hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.